So we're going to start the video. I'm going to be like, everybody say hello to Professor Excel. Okay. And then I'm going to play the clip of you with your shirt off. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. You can do whatever. Just let it be known that I'm asking for your permission. Yeah, I'm down. But are you up? I'm not up for it. But you're down for it. I am the unopposite of not down, but <laughs> the not opposite of what I didn't just not unsay. I feel like my blood sugar might be going low. Really? Welcome to trying to run a company when you have an immune deficiency disease. What is it called when you have a immunodeficiency? Immunodeficiency. Is that what it is? Immunodivibency. <laughs> trying to run a company when your immune system is killing the vibes. <laughs> okay. Well, everybody, this is Professor Excel. Professor, is there anything you want to say? No. <laughs> Great. Yeah, so I wanted to show how we survived our first year in business. And we can kind of talk about what we did, uh, what the vibe was, what the vibe is, and how the vibes are going to be. So, greetings, everyone. Um, <laughs> I love your beanie. <laughs> so, greetings, everyone. Um, I'm going to walk you through our financials as if I was presenting it to a client. Wait, where is where's where's column heading? two? You have freeze panes on or something, bro? Yeah, but it's all broken. Are your, your panes frozen? That's almost really embarrassing. Almost, but... Okay, so as you can see, um, this is our P&L. Um, this is a record of all cash that has come into the company, which is these two columns here, and a detailed expense, all cash coming out of the company, which is basically this portion here. Here's our bookkeeping income. I'm just going to kind of walk you through why it, it is what it is. It kind of looks misleading. <laughs> yeah. Why did we start out with zero dollars? Why did we make no money in January? When we, I think we we're waiting for our bank account to get set up. We had to go in person in the middle of COVID in person to the bank in order to open the bank account. Yep. That was crazy. Do you remember that day? <laughs> yeah, I do. We, we were walking out and we're like, when Tesla? <laughs> when, when can we buy a Tesla? <laughs> when? Tesla. <laughs> okay, so the reason why March was so high was because we back um, charged basically our first client. Now, when we have this, we ended up getting a, like another client. This was a video client. Um, and so oh, yeah. that's what this was. And then when we look at May, we're like, whoa, May is vibing. Um, reason why May is vibing is because that's when we started working on one of our contracting um, mm -hmm. companies quack, quack. hit us up or hit me up and wanted to, you know, wanted me to do some work for them. And I'm like, well, I started a company and you can hire our company. And so that's what we did here. Um, and you'll see that these massive numbers are a direct relation to the contract work that we did with quack, quack. these mm -hmm. smaller months reflect either like, um, like we build them in like, you know, like the 5th of June and we didn't get paid until like July. Right. Um, and so this is more reflective of like what our, what we like to call our MRR is, which is our monthly recurring revenue from our normal clients that have more longevity. When we look at our total netting or total income, just revenue, um, without any expenses, we cleared six figures. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Just wow. Barely just barely um and What's so that crazy too is like may this time was when i quit my my full-time job obviously you can see like in april basically our mrr was on under two thousand dollars a month it was you know fourteen hundred dollars that was probably one client or two clients i guess in may we got contacted by a really large video production company 
and they said, hey, we need your help doing, you know, payroll, our books, reconciling everything. They had kind of set the expectation early on that it was going to be a large job. Um, so we were billing for, I think like seven or eight grand or something like that. A month. Um, a month. And at that time, I had been working full time at a fantastic startup called CloudSpot. Uh, they were awesome. And I worked from January, February, March. I think at the end of April is when I quit because we booked this massive client and I was like, okay, well I have to focus all my time on Amarlo. And that was crazy because then two months later, they decided, you know, COVID is impacting our business pretty heavily. We don't need you anymore. And so that yep. was gone. $8,000, $7,000, whatever it was, gone off the books. Yeah, that was probably one of the most stre stressful times that we had. And we were like, right when we got all that information, I had just decided that um, after receiving pressure from you and my wife. So I got paid starting in the half, like midway through July, I think. And then in August, I was being, you know, this is reflective of a f like full wages, basically. Or right after the first pay period is like, yeah. oh, we lost our biggest client. Um, yeah. And it was our biggest client by like, like that was 80, 70 to 80% of our revenue. Yeah. And I think we knew too, like, we knew that it was risky because obviously it's even you know, it's 80% of our revenue. Like if you lose that, you're gone. And so the idea was, you know, I'll quit my job. We'll work on work with this client, but then also we can work heavily on growing the business and diversifying more so that it's not 70 to 80% of our revenue. It's a lot less. It was like, okay, we have two months to run this company. <laughs> what do we do? Yep. That was crazy. And so I think that, yeah, you're right. Like that contract that we got in October that then spilled over into November because of that 30 grand that we had, that just beefed up our bank balance. The bulk of our expenses is paying ourselves because you know, when you're a service company, the the ninety percent of your your expenses deal with um, just payroll. The the main thing that we learned is that like this carried us through all that learning and work that we've done. Um, we've created value, mm -hmm. and I I'm I'm really proud of what this looks like. So this was our bank balance as of twelve thirty one. Correct. Yeah, we're losing four grand a month, which if you do math on that, that is seven months. If we had the same month, basically. Um, yeah. But, you know, um, I have this hidden, I, like I have our 2022 budget hidden, um, but that's for another time. Yeah. So I think where our current MRR stands right now. Like as of January? Have, yeah is like 5,490, is that right? So as of the end of December, with our, the quack, 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 of our quack, quack, it was 5,800. So our current MRR is 6691, 6,700 basically. That's our MRR. So, and we increased expenses starting in January. Um, we, we gave ourselves a raise and we gave ourselves a 401k. We started a 401k and we're contributing a decent bit to that. So essentially, we'll look at this. We'll add 500 to it. And then we'll take our 6700 six, uh, and our cash burn every month is around 5,477. If you do this, just some quick napkin math we have about 5.6 months left um, until we run out of money which is significantly better than here yeah it's uh, better than two months <laughs> yeah so you know that's a good thing paul graham has this thing is like the guy that started y combinator he wrote an article once about uh it's called default alive or default dead oh lord <laughs> what does that, that even mean 
So assuming revenue growth uh, is sustaining with the money that you currently have, are you alive or are you dead? That's a good analysis to do. When we when we do our budget, we're going to do that analysis. Um, and we're going to take out any extraneous one-time projects or contracts that we have and yeah. just include the MRR. Um, yeah. I think that that would be really good information to have. Um, I really like it. Yeah. Because I think right now we're default dead. <laughs> you think so? I don't know. I mean, we have to we have to calculate revenue growth. So we'll have to see like what rate we get new clients at. Some months it's zero. Some months it's zero. So that's why I feel like could be default dead. NGMI. <laughs> we're not going to make it, dude. <laughs> we're not going to make it. All right.